Hello everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to show you um, my next journal and all the little things that I have um, gathered around from this and that. Um, this is a napkin. It has an elephant on it, but it's really hard for you to see. I thought that I um, would put this one together because the last one that I was going to show you and videotape the process, um, somebody at the farmer's market talked me out of it when I took it there to show um, everybody what I do when I recycle. And um, my journals are one of the things that I take out there. So I, um, I took it out there and I showed uh, one of the ladies that was visiting the beach area. She was from up north, I believe, she said. And um, they all come here. I think she said she came here to vacation to get out of the cold weather. And, enjoy our beaches. We do have some very beautiful snowy white beaches here. But um, anyways, um, here are some things. I don't know what I'm going to do with this page. I'll have to figure that one out. It's torn. And it's too bad because I have that little uh, flower on it. But um, this is my copy dyed mermaid and seahorse pages that I've done. I really enjoyed do that, doing it. And I had some leftover gold paint from another project and I thought I would put it in with the coffee when I was dyeing it and blend it and it just did a really beautiful effect. You can see it shimmer. But uh, I think that turned out really beautiful. But I'm going to use these pages. That's several of them. Um, I would like to make more floral ones um, with the fairy designs, but I, I'm going to have to use the um, pages from the mermaids for this one. I guess it's sort of a whimsical fantasy book, I guess you would say. Junk journal. But it's going to take some time putting it together. I have to stitch it in and sew it. And I like to put several different things that I find around the house. This tissue paper. I think I bought some for a gift. And it's leftovers. And these are things from fruit and other leftover things that I've used. And my little cutouts from the cardboard and random paper that I have, and these are even leftovers, and I was, I bought some jewelry from my friend in the tent next door, and that's a little bag left over from her, bought some earrings, and this is another little um, cutout that I did, I think I want to make a pocket out of that one like I did the last, last one, but we really enjoy our time together at the uh, market. My little sister and I call it our um, sister time. She even made me a, a cup that says sister time on it. It's adorable. My little sister. <laughs> call her my baby sister. We've not been children a long, long time. <laughs> Grandmas, and I've got teenage grandkids, so it won't be too long. I, I could be a great, not anytime soon, but give it, give it some more years. Pink and blue is not really something I'd like to put into this um, journal, but I think I'm going to work it in there. I'm just having a grand old time tearing up pieces of cardboard and books and things. I make a mess all over the place. My grandson doesn't know what to think about it. He's so adorable. I was working on his table making a mess and he just swept it all on the floor. He's almost two. 
and here's a piece of cardboard that I've not yet torn apart and I will do that. I'll show you how I do that. And this is um, an interesting piece of paper. Do you get this in your packaging? I thought that was really neat. I don't know how I'm going to work it in to the journal, but I I thought it was interesting the way they gathered it together and how it's glued together. I don't know. We'll see. And here's a piece of napkin or bumblebee. I'll have to do another page. I was working on a page for the last one. But um, Sherry, I believe that's her name. She said that she would she would take my journal that she had gotten and, and she would add to it and send some photos of it. And I, I hope she does that. I hope she doesn't lose my card and I hope she finds me here. Hi Sherry, if you're out there watching. And this is, I don't know, look inside. It gets a little blurry when I get closer to the camera lens there. But do you see that? I made a little pocket. And I'm a little off camera here. I apologize. The lens is a little bit too close. This is a portrait lens again. And my tripod is not working. It's, it's completely worn out. I need to get a new one. So everything is kerplunk and up close and personal <laughs> in this video. And my cell phone's dead. I'm charging it. And I made this from an envelope and my daughter had um, given me a flower and I pressed it in a book and forgot all about it and discovered it looking through pages. And put it between two windows of an envelope. And this is some tracing paper from from a package that I bought. My phone is starting to charge. You can hear all the beams in the background. But this is a leftover punch out. I think I need to. My sister and I like to go downtown. We treat each other and make a day with each other on our birthdays when we can. And we go, after we have lunch or whatever, we go and visit this antique mall that has recently moved and this is their, their bag bags that they use and I thought that was appropriate what I do. So I'm gonna um, have to start getting busy with this book and bring you along the journey and hope you will enjoy it. I am excited to put it all together. You guys have a nice day and I'll see you in part two. There it is. Bye. Oh one more thing. This is the inside. I'm gonna have to sew and stitch everything in there. It makes me nervous because I've got holes in it. Okay, this is an official goodbye. Until next time.